In the previous video, we got familiar with the Earth's origin and basic mathematical geographical characteristics. Today, we will learn something about the geological characteristics and relief of our planet. How old our planet is, what its composition is, what is and how the relief is formed, and why are the geological characteristics and relief important, are just some of the questions that you will get answers today. If you like or enjoy this video at any point, be sure to like it, share and subscribe to the channel. In that way, you will help others to watch this video and also I'll have more motivation to make more useful videos for you. development of the planet Earth has gone through many geological ages. According to the Canadian geophysicist T. Ehrlich, Earth is more than 4 billion years old. However, the most important period for the Earth is the period when the living matter was created. As a result of cooling of incandescent mass and the formation of the Earth's crust called the lithosphere. This period is called the Zoic period, the period of life on Earth. The rocks that make up the lithosphere are divided into three groups – igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks are the strongest and they are formed due to the cooling of magma on the Earth's surface. An example of igneous rocks is basalt, of which the ocean floor is composed. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the deposition of various substances of other rocks, the combination of which creates new rocks. Nice and very familiar examples of these rocks are clay and chalk. Metamorphic rocks are formed due to the changes in geographical conditions of certain area, whereby a certain rock changes its original characteristics and acquires new ones. A good example of them is marble. The chemical composition of the rocks that make up the lithosphere includes oxygen, silicon, aluminium, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium and some other elements. Geological history of our planet is very complex and is divided into many periods and sub-periods. During geological processes, the Earth's mass is formed in several concentric bands that can be divided according to different criteria. If we look at the physical characteristics, then the Earth is divided into lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere and core. The core is further divided into outer and inner core. According to the chemical characteristics, the Earth's interior is divided into crust, mantle and core. Going towards the Earth's core, temperatures and pressures are getting more and more higher. Relief is a set of shapes that gives the physiognomy of a landscape. Changes in the Earth's relief took place during the mentioned geological periods. The geological period called Alpine Orogeny can be considered as the most important one because in that period most of the well-known mountains and relief shapes were formed and what is the most interesting is that this period still lasts. All changes with Earth's relief were occurred under the influences of internal movements in the Earth's mass and crust, which we call endogenous forces, and external influences, which we call exogenous forces. Endogenous forces include Earth's gravity, heat, magnetism, electrical properties, and radioactivity. On the other side, exogenous forces include revolution, climatic elements, the movement of glaciers, and so on. Under the influence of exogenous forces, important geological changes take place within the Earth, 
which are manifested on the surface, such as fold mountains. On the other hand, under the influence of exogenous forces, there are surface changes in the Earth's relief, such as erosion. It is important to note that the lithosphere is fractured on several tectonic plates, whose mutual relationship leads to significant changes in relief. Changes like this are called epirogenic and orogenic movements. Epirogenic movements are age-old and mild movements, who have created continents, which we call G-anticlines, and ocean and sea basins, which we call geosynclines. Orogenic movements are rapid and intense, and they create specific shapes on the Earth's surface, such as mountain ranges, relief depressions, fractures, and so on. The question that arises now is why are geological and relief characteristics so important? The development of some area is largely determined by these two characteristics. For example, geological material, with its structure and value, can significantly determine the functions of a settlement, so that the development of a space can be based on mineral wealth. As an example, we can mention Silicon Valley which, thanks to its wealth of silicon, has managed to become a center for the development of electronic devices and the largest IT companies that use silicon in their work. Another example of importance of geological substrate is soil quality. The rocks beneath the land that people cultivate for agricultural production with their chemical composition significantly affect the quality and fertility of the land on which the possibility of cultivation depends. Relief can also determine the course of development of an area. It is generally known that most people are attracted to lowland areas that are suitable for development of settlements and the necessary infrastructure. Most often those areas were river valleys, not just because of the relief, but also because of the water. If we take agriculture again as an example, the relief in that case can determine the type of the crop that will be grown. For these reasons, crops such as corn, sunflower, wheat, and so on, are most suitable for growing in plains for easier processing, while in hilly areas, woody crops or fruits are most often grown. But of course, there are always exceptions. Relief with its altitude plays a role as a climatic factor which also can determine the type of crop for cultivation. Relief can be a very serious climatic factor, but we will talk more about that in the next video. From all above the mentioned, we can conclude that the influence of geological material and relief is very complex and of a huge importance. We'll stop here for now. In the next video, we will see what are the basic climatic and hydrographic characteristics of our planet. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with others, as well as subscribe to this channel for more interesting geographical content. Make sure to download a free PDF workbook to summarize your knowledge from this video. To stay in tune better, you can follow me on Pinterest and Instagram where you can download and share illustrations, infographics, maps and similar stuff I use in my videos. For graphical designers, there is my Pixabay account, where you can download some vector graphics for free. If you are interested in more geographical researches, I suggest you to check some useful websites and read some scientific papers and articles. I'll leave their links below down in the description. Until the next time, take care and see you!